I started at Cairo in year seven and Cairo has like, my experience at Cairo has taught me how to become more bold and more confident in myself. It's been a very welcoming place and it's, yeah, it's helped me be the person I am today. Yeah. Through COVID, some of the highlights through remote learning and through the pandemic has been being able to stay on top of my work and being uh, having no choice to do anything but my work. So it's, it's I've been still able to keep up with my work. However, some of the lowlights have been because I do a lot of sciencey subjects, I'm unable to do some of the experiments and some of the prac work and the SACs online, they're not that great. So yeah. I think some of the best memories for me of my time at Cairo have been some of the camps, like the Year 9 Wilson's Prom Camp, that was, that was fun. And then I also really enjoyed having the opportunity to do some of the different programs through Cairo, like the SOAR program and the Accelerate program through Deakin. It's given me heaps of opportunities to grow my learning, so yeah. I think the thing that I'll miss most about Cairo when I finish is the community and the friendships that I've made and the different teachers that support me through the schooling journey. And also I think I'll miss the routine coming to school, having different classes at a set time each day. In my spare time, even, at, even though at school I'm into science and maths and everything, in my spare time I'm a really artsy person. So I really like photography and painting and even reading. And also I love spending time with my dogs. For a career after school, being in the position of year 12 and being a student that I have for so many years, it's trying to figure out who you are outside of school and what your interests are and what your passions are to become like an actual career and an actual occupation and everything. But at the moment I'm trying to decide between like veterinary science and something to do with animals or something to do with um, the environment as I'm very passionate about both of those things. Uh, the thing I would change about the world tomorrow would be the impacts of climate change, if I had that kind of power. Um, I would change this because if you change one thing as large as this and on such a grand scale, then you would be affecting everything from the different nations to how it affects different people, to how it affects animals, and I reckon it would be really cool to change that.